Good afternoon, my name is Rob Sneeve. This is my nice yellow Viper. The uh, story behind the Viper is when I was a young guy. Uh, June 1999, uh, Motor Trend Magazine published uh, an article on this very car. I thought it was a really nice car and I thought, well, I'd love to own that. Pfft, fat chance, right? 2004, it went up for auction uh, down in Phoenix at Barrett Jackson, and a gentleman uh, from Langley bought it. And a few years later, I was lucky enough to purchase it off of him. So I guess I kind of got my dream car. John Hennessy's first Venom 650R, his own personal car. 650 horse, 650 torque, goes like hell. Basically a track car, although it is street legal, barely. Uh, I use it for a track car, I use it for uh, high speed. As you can see, last time we had it on a track was in 2012, it raced the base up at Cold Lake through ZR Auto, which was a fun time, but the weather was horrible, so we didn't get very good speeds out of it. We're hoping that once Area 27 uh, is built down in Oliver, that we'll be able to put her back on the track and see what she'll do on a 4.74 kilometer road track. Up until then, it's just been a cool day driving car because it has no air conditioning. You basically lose 10 pounds in it when you drive it for a day because it's so darn hot. Uh, so like I said, cool but no rain because it doesn't like the wet roads. Area 27 is uh, generally, let's say, we'll call it a driver's club because we're all drivers and that's what we want to do. We want to be able to have a place where we can go drive our cars to their ut utmost abilities. Um, you can't do it on the roads, it's not safe. Uh, to have a proper track, a track that's uh, being designed by Jacques Vellenu. It's a good thing. Uh, Western Canada needs a proper track. We have nothing but what we have over in Mission, and it's not a very driver-friendly. Um, the concrete walls, um, whereas Area 27 will have proper runoffs, very few concrete walls. It'll be made to drive your car to its utmost, but also for the drivers to learn how to drive properly on the track. Uh, we'll have complete uh, driver training courses out there, so anybody that's a little bit paranoid of driving their car fast, they'll be able to learn how to do it and gain the confidence to be able to do it properly. The fastest speed has been clocked uh, when Mototrend uh, magazine road tested it, it did 215 miles an hour. Uh, I haven't been able to get close to that yet. I've only been able to get 210 out of it. When I raced the base, I didn't even crack 200 mark. Only about 196, I think it was. Um, but the weather was bad there. It was cool and it was dynoed and tuned for 38 degrees. It was only like 9 degrees out there. It's all original except for maybe the front end. The front end has been redesigned and uh, redeveloped for stability purposes. Hold it down to the road a little bit better. 
Uh, a little bit of interior work's been done to it, but other than that, it's the way it was when Moto Trend Magazine road tested it. Eagle Racing Development is a company that I started uh, mostly to help kids get into the racing programs. Uh, we sponsor several junior dragster programs throughout the province and right now we're looking at a karting project uh, out in the Soyuz in Penticton. Uh, hopefully to get some more kids into the racing scene. The first time I took it off the truck when I first received it, it was raining a little bit and I figured, wow, I'll just punch it out a little bit, end it up sideways down the road. <laughs> so that kind of taught me a lesson and uh, it's a viper. If you don't treat it with respect, it's going to do what a viper does, bite you in the ass. Thank you.